next competitor represents now, France. Gayaji and Trump hard at work getting uh, this young lady ready. Another fragile talent. Fourth in the last World Championships in Minneapolis in 98. We haven't seen her in World since then because she's had injuries. In fact, she's still in pain with uh, a knee injury and uh, also she's had a foot injury, but there have been mental fragilities as well for Leticia Hubert from France. Doubled the Lutz. Flip now. I think it was okay. Don't think the free leg touched. No, much better. Good to see a fight back like that early on. Triple toe, triple toe. Well, that's a big element. She was looking for that in the short program. Big sigh there. She doubles out on the loop. Good job she did because uh, the grip on the takeoff had completely gone. Looks a bit double footed. Certainly was. She was late with the rotation. on the triple Salka and a heavy fall. And it's taken the wind out of her. I'm sure she re-injured herself in that fall, but uh, 
She didn't offer a lot in the last few seconds. And another, I'm afraid, disappointing four minutes for Leticia Hubert. It's very strange because uh, when she's on song, she's uh, a real sharp cookie, and she showed us what she can do with that triple-toe, triple-toe combination. Yes. Difficult element. Well, she was fourth, wasn't she? And yeah. So unlucky, so close to the uh, bronze medal member in 1998. But when it all goes wrong, it looks like she's never put a pair of skates on in her life. There's the triple flip. And she had to work hard to get that back outside edge. Such a pity she couldn't build on a confidence from that point. And here's the big element, triple toe. And the second triple toe again, working hard, but uh, made it count, that's the important thing. And then the Salco didn't get over the right foot at all. And uh, that's quite a scary jump. Well, you can only guess, can't you, what they've been through on the training sessions and yes. how their preparation has been to get to these world championships. But you can bet your bottom dollar it's probably been exciting. Married last summer, at this year. But she's always been uh, unpredictable. We talked about uh, her victory over Tara Lipinski back in 97 at the Lalique Trophy. And just a week before, she was last in the uh, Sparkassen Cup. It's like that. She could go out tomorrow and probably skate that clean. Yeah, it's just as though... I, I She's just fragile with the pressure, isn't she? If she feels good, the brain's in gear, she's a real superstar. When it's not, you think she just walked off the street, put her skates on, and was out there giving it a go. Very similar marks. A kid wide open for someone to make a big charge. Four, 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 seven, four, Could six, be, uh, four, nine. Marceline Kierkegaard or Julia Soldatova. Both of them got a great chance, but that's no good, I'm afraid, for Leticia. Four, seven, four, seven, four, Fourth place, nine, it's still Malanina who leads from four, five, Uzbekistan, but she's four, six, uh, a rather yucky, four, lucky nine, young lady four, seven, four, nine, to lead with a performance that she put in.